Pow! What's up, everybody? Boy, Saucy Shane, we're live. Midweek meltdown once again. Want to thank everybody for coming on in. Sorry if I'm a little late, per usual, pro Saucy. We're trying to get homework done. We got supper. Wife's trying to cook supper. It's a livable house. This ain't no fucking studio. It's a livable house. So that's how it rolls in uh, Saucy's neighborhood. But we're going to do a little training, do a little tincture. I got some noodles I'm going to make here in a little bit. I'll probably be getting up a hundred times, getting different stuff. But it's midweek meltdown. It goes without saying. We're going to welcome everybody for coming in. I appreciate y'all coming on in. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Share this out if you can. I really do appreciate it. Got Joe W. Life Adventures. What's up, my brother? Good to see you. We won't shame. Good to see you, brother. Hope you've had a good day. B. Wizzle Aquatics. What's up, Brandon? Big winner at Pucker Butt Pepper Company. Ed Curry done another giveaway today. I heard he won something. I wasn't sure. They were, everything was happening so fast, I wasn't real sure what you won, but uh, congratulations. I'm glad somebody, at least that I know, won, because I know it goes it goes, that goes a little crazy sometimes. You get a whole lot of people in there commenting, and uh, it's wild. What's up, Blake Hurst, my brother? Saucy-ass Shane has arrived. Good to see you. Got my hoodie on. We're going to get sweaty, and uh, it's training. We got some challenges coming up, my brother. Jeremy at Peppers Kentucky Living sent me some uh, the Crunchy Challenge. I was going to try to do it this last Saturday, but I had a, a bit of toothache and just really wasn't feeling it in my belly. And we know if you uh, tackle any of these challenges, if you're not feeling it, you're just not feeling it. You better just uh, walk away from it. So that's what we did. And we're going to try to plan it for this coming Saturday. That's why I'm kind of doing a little heavy training this week. And uh, here goes the microwave. Like I said, you'll have that. We're sitting in the kitchen. This, is, this ain't no set. This ain't no studio. This is Saucy's house. What's up, Eric? My brother, JCT. I don't know if I even said hi to you, girl. I'm sorry. Love you, girl. Hope you've had a good day. Eric Pollock. I'm rambling. I'm going to get a little shot of tincture since Eric's in here. This did, I did a review on this live on Facebook last night, right before Todd and Andy went live, 21090, and uh, Chase and Cap Station Facebook group. This is from Jared Smith, Farmer J, Alpha and Omega Hot Sauce. This is the Tangerine AF. Pretty sure we know what that stands for. It's as fuck. Uh, this is some pretty hot stuff. We're going to get it started with just uh, about that much. Mmm. You get that tangerine flavor right off the bat, and then it roars with some heat. I mean, it's scorching. It goes right to my ears. The really, really hot ones do that. Good to see you, Eric, my brother. What's up, Lazy Nate? Good to see you, brother. It's another good brother of mine. Sent me a big box of goodies. Woo. Ian knows where he's in the house. What's up, brother? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Joshua Maxwell, I am live. I am live. I'm live. Live and alive. Good to see you, bro. Hit me in the back of the throat. It's hard to, hard to talk. Mike, Cindy, Chili Bean, the Hunt for Heat family. Good to see y'all. Much love. I hope y'all have had a good day today. Welcome, welcome chat jumped on me it's pretty hot she I, excuse my language i'm getting a little, a little r-rated what's up jimmy og signs world my brother good to see you i fixed me a little pb and j i done had one earlier kind of tore it in half instead of cutting it a little lazy way and kind of turned out pretty pretty weird but so part of the training, you know, if we you know do hot stuff, you do hot challenges, you just kind of want to prep your belly. We're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to eat half this peanut butter sandwich, and then I'm going to eat the other half. I'm going to put some other kind of tincture on it. Still in you. Still in you. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate you coming. James, chasing the reaper. Good to see you, bro. Welcome, welcome. Uh-oh. How'd it go, Brian? 
I hope everything come out well. I know uh, knee surgeries can be a, a little tricky. I knew an old guy one time. He actually run a drywall company. He was about 70-something years old. And he had both his knees done at the same time. But everything turned out okay. I mean, he was still walking around, but for 70-something years old, pretty wild. B. Wessel saying, what's up, everybody? I know, right? One day, I hope I'm going to have me a, a desktop where I can play some music. And uh, the only music I got on this phone right here. Everything I got on this daggum phone. I need some uh, Dio. Holy Diver gets me pumped up for some old school hair metal. What's up, Mama Vapes? Good to see you. Oh, Tara's going to sing it. We'll have it in our head now. I done that with the song last night. What's up, Phil, my brother? Everything's spicy. Hell, I'm going to say it. Tara makes uh, Tara makes tuna melts. She takes tuna tuna fish in a can. Phil, you would love this. And uh, toasts some bread, you know, and puts it on the bread, with cheese on it, puts it in the oven, bakes it a little bit. Anyway, she had the, the tuna on a plate. She was mixing up the mayonnaise and all the goodness in it, and it was... Making that noise. Of course, I got that daggum old nasty ass WAP song stuck in my head. <laughs> I was like, tuna on a plate. Now, that's some wet ass. Anyway. Nasty. I, nasty, yeah. Then it was in my damn head all night and I was singing it. Catchy. Nasty ass song. Catchy <laughs> as hell. Can't play it around the kids. That's for sure. It's damn sure not kid friendly. But anyway. I thank y'all for coming in. We got 19 amazing people in the house. Whew. Tacos, what's up tonight? Mm. Donnie's Big D Adventures, what's up? Patreon Pirate. Trying to get through. Get, most of everybody said hey to. Hey, hey. We're the monkey. All right. We need a little bit of this PB&J. The crust cut off. Before I get too crazy. Whew. My tongue's still lit up from that daggum tangerine tincture. Mm. Ah. Hope everybody's had a good Wednesday hump day, if you will. I got the microwave free. I'm going to make them noodles here in a minute. I found my... Ah, that's the first time I got up. I'm going to play a drinking game. and take a drink every time I get up. and probably be a, be a good one. Found my sauce. I thought I'd have gone lost this stuff. I done some cleaning up the other day. I thought I lost that stuff. We'll be putting that on. I'm going to do the fire walk uh, molten chicken noodles. I've already done a video on them. They're pretty good. They're actually some of the better ones that I've had in the store. What's up, Plano Chuck? You're never late, brother. You're never late. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Wish I'd have took my time and cut this daggum thing. I got jelly everywhere. Mm. Well, I know Phil's had this. Anybody else in the chat's had that? How do you think I'll fare with this one? Not only heat-wise, but chewing-wise. Anybody out there? Hunt for heat? It's the Rice Krispie one. I feel like out of the three, that'd probably be the easiest one for me to do. What's up, Todd? Two ten ninety Brewing. Cheers, my brother. Good to see you. Just doing a little, doing a little prep for I dock some noodles and eat them and do a little tincture. Just trying to train myself for a challenge and uh, just doing a little tolerance building all the way around. A 
plan on chugging this whole jar. I'm just kidding. That's funny. So I got my I got some of this peanut butter and jelly down. We're gonna we're gonna step it up a notch. This other tincture I got, I done done a review on it too. Done done. Oh done done. Goodness gracious in the house. What's up? Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Whoo. Hmm. This is the Ramble on Rose. Whoop. Shit fire. This is the Ramble on Rose. I know that's a little blurry and I apologize. We're coming in all of 720p. Ramble on Rose, Silver Creek Pepper Company. It's a raspberry flavored tincture. I think would be fantastic. A few drops. And that's PB and J. Stuff's got fantastic flavor, and I think I'm not real sure. I didn't ask them what kind of peppers they used on their tinctures or whatnot. I just know this one's a little milder. Kind of reminds me of the Mango Narrow from Tone Ranger. That's what's up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up, left eye, Pat? Good to see you, brother. All right. Man, that's so good. Last night, as I said earlier, I went live in a Facebook group. Damn it. I went live in a Facebook group chasing capsation. I did a review on Jared Smith's Tangerine AF from Alpha and Omega Hot Sauce. And uh, actually, uh, I did a beer chug too. This will be a beer I'll be reviewing since Todd's in here. I'll show everybody. It'll be a beer I'll re be reviewing probably next week sometime. Maybe later this week. I'm not sure. Got several things planned. Got a buttermilk chug coming. And anyway, I drank my first one of these last night live on uh, Chasing Capsation with some of this tangerine. Not a full Robbie dropper, but a, ro a, a, a dropper full. Not a full, not the bulb and all. If you're not familiar with the Robbie dropper, it's it's the glass dropper and the bulb full. So I just basically did the glass dropper in a beer, 12 ounce beer in a mug and chugged it. But it went really good with this orange wheat beer. This is what I was sipping on last night. A couple of them watching Todd Dandy. And I actually had some bird dog peanut butter whiskey. Bird dog's not bad for the money. I kind of like it. They're pretty good on their flavors. They may be an acquired taste of people. I don't know. I kind of like them. But I'm fixing to uh, make these noodles real quick. So just bear with me. I apologize. Like I said, this is kind of, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Midweek meltdown. We're not only melting down our mouths, we're melting down our minds too. So just bear with me. And uh, I'll make these, I'm going to put these noodles in the nuker real quick. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Don't talk amongst yourselves. I apologize. Boy, it's about as professional as you get right here. 
left everybody sitting there hanging. <laughs> Cooking. Cooking. It's cooking, dog. Cooking. All right. I'm back. So what we got in the microwave right now is these Firewalk hot and spicy molten lava chicken. What's up, Moose Gal? Shit, Phil, you're way more professional than I am. <laughs> I really wasn't sure what I was going to do tonight. Let's do some of this tincture right here while we're waiting on them to cook. We'll all hear the dinger ding off. Dingy dingy. I'll tell you what, before I do that, I need to shake this tincture of mine before I forget. It's getting time. I try to do a couple shakes a day, at least one. A morning shake and an evening shake. <laughs> Give it a good shake. Yeah. Gotta get violent with it. And then I'm OCD like crazy. I'll set it here. You can see the nice head on it. <laughs> Let it sit there and whatever is on the side of the glass where it didn't wash down all my powders, whether it be pepper, fruit, whatever's in there, I'll take it once it all dies down a little bit and I will give it a little wash, I call it. Slosh it around. Some of that sediment out of the lid of the grooves. You're dealing with 190 proof alcohol. It's thin. It gets, you know, water itself. If it can find a way out, it will. And, and this alcohol, it's even thinner. So you got to really be careful when you shake it up. Especially if you're using old jars that you've already used or somebody's already used. The lids maybe wore out. That's why I kind of had this over the top of it. These are brand new jars, but I'm going to tell you, you can't never be too uh, safe with that stuff. You get that on you? You may not know it until it's you touch something you ain't supposed to touch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's some sensitive areas they're talking about. Make sure I didn't... <laughs> <laughs> well, I need some good shine. I've always wanted to make some tincture out of some good old moonshine come from the hills of Tennessee. Not some store-bought shit. But uh, all them uh, all them old boys have died off that I knew. And once again, I'm not going for a full Robbie Dropper. This bottle here is bigger than the Tangerine AF. I don't really know what size they are. These are what I got. I got the Cobalt Blue this size. Depending on what it comes out looking like, if it's got the color that I think it's got right now, it's kind of got a purplish garnet, even kind of deep, deep red with some blues in it. It looks pretty cool. If, it, if it's got the color I want, but uh, I think it's got, I'm going to order some clear ball. I mean, it just is what it is. I want everybody to see it. And this stuff right here is pretty gorgeous, too. And you may not be able to see it through stream yard, but, man, that is some pink candy 
tincture. Good stuff. Like I said, that's not a full Robbie dropper, so you're getting a gist of what you're dealing with right there. Once I tip it up, all that liquid goes down in the bulb. So what you're seeing right there is a full dropper. I just dropped a drop on the table. We don't want that. That's a full dropper. So that bulb almost holds a full dropper worth. So we're going to get this, put it in my mouth right now. Put it in. <laughs> mm. Now my noodles are done. All right, we ain't gonna shut the camera off this time. We just gonna get them. Hey, Nicole, good to see you. Welcome, welcome. So we got our noodles. Fire walk, they are steaming. And we're not going to dive off into them bad boys yet. We're going to give it a good stir. We had a seasoned packet. I don't know if anybody's had these. I think, I think Bill's had them. I don't, I'm not sure. Uh, if anybody's had these, I think they're, they're some of my favorite. I think the last time I tried these, I went a little too much with the sauce I put in there. I think I put um, brain burner or constrictor or one of those hot ones, hot sauces in there. And uh, about that. It's pretty rough. Oh, yeah, that's right, Left Eye. We sure have. Speaking of which. I thought I'd seen you show them off. Let me get something to clean this tincture up. God dang it. I'll have, I'll be, I'll have it in something. and uh, On my face. Uh, <laughs> it's usually the way it goes. Whether I'm grinding up pepper powder or you play with fire, you're going to get burnt. What's up, Spice and Easy? Good to see you. Alan and Fiona. So while this is cooling, we got this fire sauce pack. They're pretty much. Uh, these are the hot and spicy fire walk. I know it's got a glare, Nissen or whatever it's pronounced. Fire walk, molten chicken. Molten chicken, chili chicken. They got a, the only ones I've seen in the fire walk style or the molten chicken oh my god babe will you can you bring me something now i've got this shit everywhere i swear to god <laughs> we're out of paper towels too it's not going yeah i need uh toilet paper or something this is why i've I'm not prepared to do this kind of shit, just to be honest. I'm sorry about the language, but God, I've got this shit everywhere. All right, that's going to stain it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, it's so... fine. It's fine. I can watch it. <clears throat> One of them days. This is not the. Uh... I said, I got to get this up. <laughs> it's on the table. That's why I wanted to have this up. Whew. 
Well, let's stir this up. I about lost my composure. <laughs> I've got this shit all over my hand. It's like my whole hand's on. Good time. <laughs> I know. I know. It's a. Uh, it's kind of embarrassing. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. We got this stirred up pretty good. Still hot as hell. We're going to put some of this in there, too. It's a whole lot easier than them little freaking bags. So much easier. There's that. Give us a good stir. I like these big bowls that come that these come in. I usually fill it up just below the fill line. I mean, this is all noodles. It's all. I'm not a, I'd like to try the shrimp one. I'm not a big shrimp fan. This one's got six chili peppers on the heat scale. I also like how they put a, I like when companies put a little heat scale on there, some sort whatsoever. This one's got six peppers. I think that shrimp one's only five. So I'm not a shrimp fan, which is weird because I like, crawfish I don't know it's weird I picked up some spicy crawdad says craw tater chips at the grocery store the other day may do them Saturday be interested to see how they taste but basically all we're doing tonight this is pretty much a daggum noodle mukbang freaking training I'm gonna eat these noodles I've added some of this Two times spicy that uh, OG San sent me. We're going to eat these noodles as much as I can. Hell, I've done eight, two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. My daggum stomach feels like it's going to explode. And then we'll chase it down with some tincture. I'll try to. Uh, may do a beer chug. What do y'all think about that? What's up, B lady? Thank you for sharing the stream. Thank you. Thank you. Spaz Fives in the house. Welcome, welcome. Uh, appreciate y'all coming. Spice and easy, y'all are awesome. I popped in there for just a minute today, and then I got a daggum phone call. I got a phone call today from a telemarketer, telemarketer, all about my extended warranty on my car insurance, some shit. I cussed them out, and they pretty much told me to pray. I better say a prayer. I'm taking it as a threat. I don't know. That's kind of kind of jacked up. Then they hung up for it. Thank you, B-Lady. Cat down here wants some. This stuff is good. Our stores don't carry it. That's what I was telling my wife the other day. I wish we had like an Oriental store. We got a couple Mexican stores, Spanish grocery stores. They don't really carry anything. They carry a couple cool looking candies. Like uh, I've done a couple videos on some dried mangoes 
Chilino sent me some from California. Other than that, nothing real crazy. I like trying to go places and uh, trying to find stuff that you can't find at Walmart or Kroger, you know, or any real big mainstream places. What's up, Gino? Good to see you. We're munching muck banging on some noodles. Mm. Mm. I'm actually being able to enjoy these last time I eat these. I like I said I overdid it. It's definitely hot. I contemplated eating one of these tonight, but I'm not now. But we're gonna wait and we're gonna plan something on these. Lazy Nate sent me two of these. I'm not sure how I want to approach it yet. I kind of want to do a collab. I think we're gonna try to do a collab. We got two of them, so I don't. We'll figure it out. I know they're supposed to be hotter than like this or ghost pepper. I'm not sure what's in here. I'm not even going to try to read it. I'll have, the way it's going, I'll dump this out. Mm. Oh, no. A durian. If anybody could do it, brother, you could do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna. I'm gonna collab with you. <laughs> That's what I meant. I just meant I don't know. We just gonna do one. We're gonna do two. I probably can't eat two of them. I probably couldn't eat two of them if they was just regular chicken. I mean, I can eat this. I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you something else. I need a haircut. I gotta take a hit of this e-cigarette. It's been about 40 minutes. Plus, they need to cool off a little bit more. They're still hot. Tongue's a little sensitive from that tincture. I've been trying to drop it straight down the gullet. Just hold my head back. Just not let it even hit my tongue. It's not a good idea because you got to build your tolerance up on your tongue. Uh, doing challenges. Wherever that tincture hits, man, it lights it up. There's no coming back from it. Right now, I'd say my heat level, I'm going to be sitting at about a... I'm sitting at a good, solid... Maybe a four right now. It's more or less the steam heat that's getting me. And I'm getting full. I love these neighbor, uh, noodles, neighbor girl. And hello, if I didn't say hello, neighbor girl, hello. I keep wanting to pick up that lid, but it's got this empty sauce packet exploded on me. Well, if you look in some of my past videos, I've had some pretty crazy things happen with sauce. I cut the head of a damn hot sauce bottle off in a motel room in Branson on our honeymoon. Damn hot sauce went everywhere. I still got that bottle. That's it right there. Rob's darn good fire sauce is what it said. Probably some shitty sauce, but kind of a gimmick thing. I got it for a wedding gift. Pretty sure it was. I don't really remember how it tastes. It was uh, 
peppers, vinegar, salt, garlic, onion, sugar, paprika, uh, red pepper, black pepper, and triaculum phosphate or something. <laughs> Best I remember, it was like a Louisiana style sauce. But yeah, the knife I was using to cut the label off with evidently was a little dull on the backside. Pushed on it too hard when it finally slipped, poof, cut it off like a daggum champagne bottle. And I mean, it went, of course, you're not prepared for it. So it went slung all over the side of the bed, all over the curtains. My wife was taking a shower. So I figured I would do is pop on to a damn hot sauce review real quick while we was in the motel. <laughs> oh, yeah, I did it. The whole <laughs> the whole room smelled like vinegar. Oh, it's funny. I, all I was worried about was them charging our credit card. You know, on some. I've had that happen. I've a uh, long time ago we stayed up in the in Gatlinburg somewhere, and I was taking a shower in a lot of motels. You know, they got the shower head. I'm tall, but I'm not seven foot tall. So they'll rough them shower heads in. And they're like six foot eight, six foot in the ground, just tall as hell. I'm trying to pull the shower head down to reach down. Rip the whole shower head off. Well, they sent my uncle a bill in the mail for like $150 to fix that shower head. That's all I was worried about was some damn dry cleaning on some curtains and bed sheets. It looked like a damn murder scene. It was red, blood, looked like blood stains everywhere, but you could you couldn't hide the vinegar smell. It was it was definitely hot sauce. Uh, yeah, we uh, we didn't get charged. We couldn't get it all out. We got we got the most of it out, but it was uh it was definitely pretty rough. Like it's them fire sauce right here, this oily noodle sauce that you get in these packs. Everybody knows it's oily. Like this stuff right here, it's oily. Now, if it was to be something like that, probably ain't coming out. Like, my hands are stained orange. I'm going to have to get some bleach and wash my hands. Ha. Yes, be lady. Honeymoons are full. I want to go back to Branson so bad. I'm going to do it. Whew. I could only imagine, Phil. <laughs> May not be what I'm thinking of, but boy, these have gotten thick, boy, thick. Look at that, son. Thick. Good Lord. Bam. Mm. I need a haircut. This sucks. Yes, Branson is very nice. We're going to... I'd love to... <laughs> Dang! I'm just kidding. I'd like to plan it out where we could all go. I think that'd be cool, Jimmy. Very cool. What's up, Dustin? Atomic Menace. We had a little chili royalty in the house. Good to see you, brother. I'm trying to, uh, I'm going to take the break off these noodles for a minute. We're going to go back to this tink. Let me get some Mountain Dew. Mount, Mountain Dew. What that old boy says. <laughs> I ate this chili one time. So hot, made me drink a whole two leg Mountain Dew. I don't know if y'all seen that on Facebook. I think that's funny as hell. I think I'm kin to dude. I ate this one hot sauce one time so hot it made me drink a whole two liter Mountain Dew. <laughs> that's funny as shit. Y'all gotta look that up. I swear I'm kin to that dude. If I'm not, my wife is. Yeah. Tell 
Sarah's got a lot of camp folk in Appalachia. What up, Blake? I'm starting to sweat. That's good. That's good. We're training. We're trying to make weight. Man, I tell you what. I wish I'd have pursued a career in mixed martial arts. If I'd have known now, let's see. If I'd known that it was going to blow up like it did when I was 18, 19, you know, younger, teenager growing up, UFC really wasn't that popular. They were doing it, but uh, it wasn't as popular as it is now. But, boy, I wish I'd have got into that because I think it would have been my calling. I don't say I'm a damn just a fighter or nothing like that. I'm just saying. I think that, that would have been my thing. I think that would have been it. It would have been a whole different. We'd have been training for a whole different other something else. I'd have been going in there. I need me some of that Dustin Poirier sauce. Wish I'd have bought some of that before he knocked Connor's punk ass out. I like Connor McGregor. Hell, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Mountain Dew is supposed to keep you awake. You know what? I know it. Here's what's weird about me. I can take, I can drink a cup of coffee and pass right out. I can shotgun a monster daggum and pass right out. Speaking of which, let me get me a beer. We're going to have a beer. We're going to do a beer. I'll show y'all something pretty cool. Todd may not still be in here. We're going we're gonna to pass these noodles off. We're going to take a sip back on these. We got us one of these orange wheat from Tailgate Brewery. And uh, Chippendale Dancer? Shoot. I don't know about that, B lady. You're getting, you're getting wild on me. I don't know about that. I have one for you. Yeah. Here it is. So I picked these up the other day. And I noticed something weird about the, the label. So this is a sticker label that's on here. There's some writing or whatnot peeking above the top of this. So I piqued my interest. Of course, the one I done peeled off, I drank last night. I think the easiest thing for me to do now is just to drink it and then show y'all. They've used a can. Gosh damn it. I don't, I need you to do something. <laughs> Y'all didn't hear that, did you? I'm going to have to drink this. I'm going to poke a hole in this. I think what they've done is they come out with this beer. And uh, they use some cans that they had other beer in. And just wrap them so they pretty much i guess they're saving money which i think is cool you know on a smaller scale bigger companies you kiss my ass when they do that but small companies i think that's cool as hell but i said i was gonna do them crawl tater potato chips next saturday snacky snack saturday but i think i'm gonna do these jeremy sent me these two blazing foods baked habanero pig skin that may be that may be on the agenda for next Saturday. Hell, I don't know. Shit, what am I talking about? I may do this next Saturday. I don't know what I'm doing. We may do this next Saturday. That's what I'm shooting for. I'm 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 all conglomerated. We may shoot for this next Saturday. Let's shoot for this next Saturday. Crunchy challenge. It's time old saucy gets his challenge on. I think so. Yeah. I have to uh, print me off that old disclaimer or whatnot and read that thing off. Yeah, but so uh, back to this. I'll be reviewing this probably next week. So, uh, anyway, this is what I did last night, except I done it in a in a mug. We got Farmer J's Tangerine AF tincture, and once again, we're just going with the glass dropper. It's going to be a little bit harder to chug, but we're going to do it. Yep. 
Yeah, I'd be late. That's the only one I got, and I, I wouldn't have that if it wasn't for my good brother, Jeremy. That's two years in a row he sent me something cool for my birthday. Last year, he sent me a bottle of Pine Ango when it first came out, and this year, he sent me the baked habanero pig skins from Blazing Foods and <coughs> this Crunchy Challenge from Old Agnes Store. League of Fire Challenge. Rice Krispie. Says it's crunchy time. Hey, JCT. Good to see you, my friend. All right, let's get this show on the road here. Cheers. I like the color. That right there? It looks good. I did way better chugging on out of that beer glass last night. But I have not washed it. I'm lazy. Yes. But I'm going to tell you. Ooh. That's a perfect combination. That tangerine tincture and this orange wheat beer. Is fantastic. Tailgate Brewery here in Nashville. Everything I've had from them has been spot on. Like I said, I've got to get some of their fruited sours. Um, they kind of do a thing like RAR. If y'all watch 21090 Brewing, you know who two, uh, RAR is and they're out of orders. The fruited sours. <laughs> they kind of do something like that too. They got a can drop, you know, so not really themes or whatever, but they got cool can art on them and they do can releases. So they'll drop them and you got to be pretty quick to buy them or they'll sell out. I hadn't had those yet, but I'm definitely going to make a trip to tailgate brewery and check them out. Uh, be late. It depends. Like if you put a whole bunch of it in there, like I just did each drink is just like my lips, my mustache feels like it's smoking. I've never, um, I was trying to think. Now, I'll take that back. That may have been Tone Ranger's Mango Nero. I think I put Tone Ranger's Mango Nero in some kind of drink. I can't remember. I know it was because I posted a picture of it on Facebook, but I don't remember what it was, what I was drinking, but I'm pretty sure it had to be been Tone Ranger's Mango Nero because everything else I've had has been Scorching hot. <coughs> this is pretty hot, too. <coughs> I ain't gonna lie. I've been seeing a lot of people do uh, Robbie droppers on. Every time I see somebody upload it on Facebook, they're doing a Tangerine AF review for Miss Old Boy. I'll watch it. Because a lot of these guys in the Chili community, when they go live on Facebook, and uh, they're doing tinctures and stuff, they always do Robbie droppers, you know, most of the time. Sometimes they'll do what they call crossing swords, and they'll take two full Robbie droppers, cross them, drop them in the mouth. I could not imagine. Last time I did a Robbie dropper of anything, it was Hunt for Heat's hot coffee tincture. Now, it's pretty warm, but it felt like somebody slugged me right in the chest. And I'll be honest with you, when I first got this, I took about three or four drops of this, got that same feeling i'm kind of getting it now but when something's really really super hot like that here lately i've been just getting this like a punch to the chest and i don't like it there's a lot of pains that i could uh kind of deal with but that's that's one that's kind of weird the feeling it almost feels like it's taking your breath but yeah he also sent me this the guy that i got this tangerine tincture from sent me this cool pepper life sticker Trying to get it to where it'll show. Holographic, of course. It's beautiful. He's in the garden holding peppers. Got some tractors in the background. I think that's awesome. Really, really like that sticker. And speaking of holographic stickers, I mean, we're fixing to go watch this old boy right now here in a little bit. 
That is, that's another beautiful sticker. That right there is gorgeous. That black border around it, boy, it really set it off. Since we got the holographics out, we're fixing to end this. So we're fixing to go watch Phil. Found this the other day in my, oh God, I don't know if y'all can see that or not. Kind of, sort of. Cincinnati Reds holographic card. I got a Houston Astros one too. If there's any Houston Astros fans in there, hit me up. I'll mail it to you. Hell, I don't care. That's a beautiful card. Cincinnati Red one is going to Brian Ames. He's a big Reds fan. I'll hit that, uh, scan that right quick, and we'll go over there to see Phil. I'm just kidding. I love that card, and that's so cool. Woo, my lips are on fire. Golly. Anybody want to drop Phil's link? We still got 19 people in the house. Amazing. It's been a good night. A little catastrophe with the daggum sauce, but you know, it, it is what it is. <clears throat> Just a little look into how I build my tolerance up. Just about every time I got these tinctures set on my shelf over there, every time I go by them, I'll grab one, put a drop or two in. And this kind of keeps my heat tolerance, you know, a little higher. Um, right now it's on my lips from drinking this beer. Got a good, nice sting on my lips, which is good because any hot challenge you're going to do, you're going to get it on your lips. You got to build your tolerance up from point A all the way to point B. Point B is a little bit harder to, to train, that being your bunghole. Um, that's why I usually generally try to throw it up. If I, don't, if I don't boot on a hot challenge or doing something hot, I know I'm definitely going to pay the next day or later on that night with cramps. And, uh, the good old ring of fire. <coughs> thank you, Gina. Thank you. Thank you for dropping the link. Yes, B lady. I am. Where, where, where am I? Ooh. Mm. I'm probably, I think I've only got 10 points. So I'm pretty low on the list. I can't remember. I think I got like 10 points, but I'm, I'm way low on the list. That really don't bother me. That kind of touch. I don't know. That got a. It kind of gets out of hand. If you want my honest opinion about that, it kind of took the chili game to a whole another level. You know, if you ain't got the money to spend on that, you ain't got. It's fun being in it, but I'm not. Definitely not going to be, you know, up in the upper class of it. That's just is what it is. That's uh. Even if I had the highest tolerance in the world, I wouldn't have the biggest bank account to keep up with all these people. There's just no way. There's no way. It's impossible. It's impossible. But yeah, I got I got about ten points in the old League of Fire. My name, old Saucy's in there. That's for sure. Yeah, it's uh, it's blown up. That's for sure. But that's going to wrap it up for tonight, guys. I appreciate y'all coming out and hanging with me. I've done some little tincture training. ate some hot noodles. I'm going to finish off this beer. I'm going to hang out and uh, watch Phil and see what he's got in store for us tonight. Oh, he's reviewing a hot sauce from Harmon Heat. So we hope to see Justin and Harmon Heat over there. I've had a couple of their sauces. Very good. They definitely know what they're doing. Uh, as far as sauce making and even YouTube channel. They're definitely a good YouTube channel, so check them out. But I'll see y'all over at Fields and everything Spicies. I appreciate y'all coming. Thanks, Jimmy, my brother. Much love. I'll see y'all over at Fields and I'll see y'all back here. Hmm. Definitely Saturday for these baked habanero pork skin from Blazing Foods. But until next time, y'all stay safe and most definitely. They saw. I love y'all.